Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support, and today I'm going to demonstrate in this video how to set up a Condi photo setting on a 3110 printer. The 3110 printer is unique to the other Ricoh printers because the driver settings look different. When you get in, into the driver settings, they do not look the same as the 7700, the 7000, 5050, nor the 3300. Condi photo settings are used when we don't have the option to apply an ICC profile which is obtained through Condi systems using your digital imaging software. Typically with Photoshop and CorelDRAW you do have the option to set up a Condi ICC setting. The difference between Condi ICC setting and Condi photo is where the ICC profile is applied. Condi photo is required usually in two in two different instances and those instances are when you can't apply the profile in the program and the other is when the customer just likes the setting better as a condi photo setting so these are the condi photo basically the profile sits in the driver color management is not controlled through the application some applications do not allow us to put the profile in there so we put the profile on the driver so that you can use the profile to manage color through the driver rather than the application make sure you can reverse your image in your application even if you can't commit to the color settings using the profile you'd still need to be able to reverse your image from the app the Rico driver will not allow you to reverse the image so to get to the driver settings, first of all, you need to have the profile. Profiles are sent to you through our support department and only through our support department. The requirement is you must be a Condi customer to obtain a profile. Send an email to support at condi.com. Make sure you have the profile. Once you have the profile, save it to your desktop and then right click on it and install the profile you will not see anything happen the profile is installed to your hard drive this is for a PC setup this does not work with Mac setup so this video will work with Mac I'm sorry this video will work with PC not Mac and it'll work with the 3110 not with any other Ricoh printer so I have Windows 7 it'll work also with Vista XP and Windows 2000 so let's get started. Driver must be installed to configure the settings. The drivers can be obtained through Condi on our partner net site or rico.com. Make sure that you know the only difference is 3264-bit. I'm using Windows 7 64-bit. If you have a 32-bit computer, make sure you get the right driver for 32-bit. I'm going to go to the printer folder start menu and at this point I have installed my profile and my drivers installed this is for configuring the settings through the printer folder using an ICC profile so my drivers installed at this point and my profiles installed I'm gonna to go to my control panel devices and printers or I'm just gonna click on devices and printers here if you have Windows XP you're going to see printers and faxes. I'm going to demonstrate using the Rico Gel Sprinter GX7700. Driver looks the same for the 7000, 33, and the 5050, but not the 3110. So we want to make sure that we're using a 3110 driver. I said 7700, but we're going to be using a 3110. 3110 looks different than the other four drivers so right click on your 3110 left click on properties if you have XP or Vista if you have Windows 7 left click on your printer properties once the properties opens we can go and add our profile through color management This is our properties box. Click on color management. Windows 7 and Vista, you're going to see another color management tab. You're going to click that 
If you're an XP user, you're not going to see it. You're going to already be where you need to be. But when I open this up, it'll all look the same as with XP or Vista or Windows 7. Your device, jump down, find your 3110, add your profile, scroll down in your list and look for your GX 3110 profile. Sometimes it just takes a minute to find it. This is SG3110 RGB V1.0. Choose that one, click OK. Now you'll see it in your list. Highlight it, select Set as Default, left click on Close. From the Properties dialog box again, click Advanced. Click on Start Printing after last page is spooled. Click on General. Come down and click on Preferences. From here, your user settings is what you want to select. You're on your one-click presets. Choose User Settings. Auto Tray Select. Your paper type is Inkjet Plain Paper. Create a custom paper size that you would use by default every time you open your app. Make sure that you're choosing a paper size from your driver that you would commonly use. I'm going to scroll up and choose 8.5 by 11. Portrait is what I'm going to recommend for myself. Most people will use portrait, but you can default landscape. Go to detailed settings. There's my paper size again. You can also create custom paper sizes from here. Print on, same size as original. Scroll over. This is paper, basic. We've already set this up. No changes here. Edit. This is your layout. Scroll down. Printable area is maximum. So choose maximum. Go to finishing, use your bar, scroll over to print quality, user settings, print priority is normal, dithering is use error diffusion, color profile is selected to off, the difference between Condi ICC and Condi Photo is that we choose use ICM. Drop down by printer driver. This is where we're telling the driver to manage color. ICM intent is perceptual. Change this gray reproduction to CMYK, I'm sorry, CMY plus K. Your resolution is 600 DPI. Vector or raster, make sure you choose raster. It's going to give you your best quality. Jump over to effects, nothing to do here. Driver options, nothing to do there. Come over to the bottom left, register current settings. We're going to name this Condi Photo. Condi Photo is that the driver manages color, not your digital imaging software. Click OK. And now if you go to your one-click presets, you'll see Condi Photo in your one-click preset options. Make sure you choose that. You'll see it added here. Click Apply. Click OK. Back to Properties. Click Apply. Click OK. And X out. And that's how you set a Condi Photo setting for your Ricoh SG3110. Unlike the other Ricohs, the SG3110 is a little different so make sure you're following the instructions using this video if you're going to go to Condi Photo for that printer.
Again, this is Vicki with Condi Systems. If you have any questions, need any help with this setting, be sure to give us a call here at Condi. Anyone in our department can help you with these settings. And as always, thank you for your time.